is over. Winter is upon us. Thank you very much, Kuku. And Sonia and Annie and Eva, welcome. And Dallas. I'm not quite sure we've met before, have we, Dallas? But yeah, the, the time is just passing very quickly at the moment. Like I said, winter is now upon us. Apparently my Zen is a blanket. I think it could be right. It is very, very warm. I don't like the cold. And um, I'm not quite sure whether I gave you all that website that where you could download uh, Lama Sankarpa's Chenmo, uh, the Lam Rim, the three, the three volumes. But if I haven't, um, let me give it to you again or if I have, and it is on archive.com, archive.com. You can download that for free there. So um, uh, I, I would encourage that. So that's archive.com. Um, today, uh, the meditation I'm going to lead is uh, taken from, um, I'm going to be using the retreat prayer book, the yellow book that we refer to uh, here at Chen Razik on page um, on page thirty one. I'm going to focus on the seven limb prayer. And back in the day, when I first started out many years ago, back in the nineties, <coughs> um, we used to always do the seven limb prayer. And it's sort of something that we don't do quite so often anymore. You don't really hear it all, all that often. Um, I guess because uh, Lama Zopani's wisdom has extended all those, has extended the different limbs. Um, so, you know, when we make offerings, we now do the long mandala and just sort of rather than just the short offering that we do in the seven limb prayer. But um, I can remember doing this prayer for years. Uh, you know, I would do the refuge prayer. This was before I got any initiations. I would do uh, the refuge prayer, and then I would do the seven limb prayer, and then uh, we'll be turning over and we've got the mandala offerings, the short mandala offering, and then it was used to be called the inner mandala offering, but now it's called offering the objects for three poisonous minds. Um, and used to always do them all in Tibetan. I love the Tibetan uh, chanting. So I may include that during this meditation. And then once, once I'd finished that, the, the refuge prayer, the seven limb prayer, the mandala offerings, I would then go into some personal meditation, whether that would be just um, breath awareness or mantra recitation um, or even uh, contemplative meditation on something that I read. I would uh, reflect on that. And then once I got some sort of feeling for it, I would then just sit with it. Um, uh, th th this was when I was a single mum. So yeah, I'd, I would do this, you know, like for about 20 minutes because that's about as long as free time as I could get with um, young kids running around. If I was lucky, I would get that much time. Uh, and then once I'd finished that, I would then just go into the, 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 the dedication prayer. So um, I'm really pleased to uh, go back and spend time on this seven limb prayer, this seven limb practice again. Because, uh, you know, as we've been, as Geshe has been teaching us, Geshe Siltram has been teaching us, um, it has everything. It has everything for um, accumulating merit and purification. And, you know, we, we all need so much of that. We all need so much merit. We all need to purify so much. So um, that's what I'm doing today. That's right. And the other thing I wanted to just briefly tell you um, is uh, the FPMT Foundation shop um, has gone online these days and they pretty well only sell uh, 
e, e things, things that can be downloaded and stuff. And it's all very, very reasonably priced. Um, much of it is by, by donation. Um, and, you know, the, the prayer book, I really encourage you to go and check out the practices that are available there. Um, many are, are free. Um, and, and, you know, to certainly download the retreat prayer book. That's the prayer book that, that, that we use. We tend to use a lot these days in, in FPMT on retreats and here at Chen Razik. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, FPMT Foundation Bookshop, bookshop Online. I really encourage you to check that out for all practices. They're all there. Okay, so let's bring our awareness into our body, into our posture, the seven limb, Varachana, seven point Varachana posture taught to us by Buddha Shakyamuni. He in his wisdom left no rock unturned when it came to providing instructions for us. Our spine is straight, shoulders up back, our chest is open, our chin is slightly tucked in, our tongue is on the top of our palate, our eyes are just resting gently, the top lid on the lower lid, and our gaze is just going down along our nose. Oh, they're just gently shut. And just become aware of the breath at the level of our abdomen, and the rise and fall of our abdomen. Then just bring our awareness to our chest that as we slowly breathe in, our abdomen expands out and our lungs, our chest expands subtly. And then just bring our awareness up to the tip of our nose, the, the, the septum between our, in the nose. Just focus on that. Feel the cool air rushing in and out. The cool air rushing in. And it's warmer as it goes out. We've been doing the nine round breathing technique, very ancient breathing technique. So we'll do that again today to really help us, help us to center, relax and focus ourselves. So um, it's three in through the left. As we breathe out, we're breathing out attachment. Three in through the right, out through the left, breathing out anger. And then three, breathing in through both nostrils and breathing out, breathing out any um, mis misconceptions, misperceptions, any ignorance. So um, I'll just let you all do this in your own pace and I'll do it in mine and we'll pick up after. <laughs>
And then on the final round, the final three of the final round, breathing in, breathing out all our ignorance, and then noticing the space between each breath, that spacious moment. Just become aware of that. I and all transmigrating beings in all the realms. Just bring all our kind mothers around us. Just sitting in meditative posture, calm and relaxed. We don't need to maintain social distancing in our visualization, so bring them all around us, all our kind mother sentient beings. In all realms. Try and make this visualization as expansive as you can, that there are beings going to the limit of the horizon all transmigrating beings, all sitting in a relaxed meditative posture, pervading the farthest reaches of an infinite space. We all from this moment on, until we attain the essence of full enlightenment, until we all awaken from our befuddled, confused state. Take refuge because we need help. We need protection. We need to rely on something that is a true path. It has been proven as a successful path and we know this path that we are on, that it is proven and it is a successful path. It will lead us all to enlightenment. It will lead us to the awakening mind. Take refuge in our holy, in our holy gurus. And just bring to mind our holy gurus, His Holiness, the Dalai Lama, Lama Zopa, Kyabje Zopa Rinpoche. Geshe Sultra, Geshe Zopa, Geshe Raptor. And just bring to mind your holy gurus, our holy teachers. Magnificent holy gurus. The accomplished Buddha Bhagawans, all the Buddhas. All these Buddhas have gone before us and have reached enlightenment. And there are so many Buddhas, so many holy deities. Antara, Manjushri, Chenrezig, Vajrasattva, Kantaparada, we took initiation on the weekend with His Holiness the Dalai Lama, Maitreya, all these Buddha Bhagawans.
take refuge in the Dharma, the pure refuge, the true sensations that teach us the true sensations and the true path. And in the Sangha, which yesterday in our um, tutorial, those are the Arya Bodhisattvas. They've all gone before us, and maybe there are some around, but unfortunately, I'm unable to recognize any. But I'm sure they're there. From this moment on until I attain enlightenment, until we all attain enlightenment, we take refuge. And from this virtuous merit that we create, by practicing giving and the other perfections, because we all are on the, the Mahayana path. And many of us have taken bodhicitta vows, bodhisattva vows. We are on the Mahayana path. And we strive to practice these perfections well. And we all will one day attain the state of a Buddha. Seven limb prayer. We'll chant it first, then we'll go back and meditate on each limb. Go sung go pe go ne chak se lo. Nyo shum yi tru cho tren ma lu bu. Tog me ne sak di tung tam che shak. Ke pa ge wa nam la je yi rang. Ko wa ma tong ba du le juk ne. Dro la cho ki ko lo ko wa dang. Dag jen ge nam chak chuk chen po no. I prostrate reverently with my body, speech and mind. I present clouds of offerings. Clouds of offerings. All the clouds have numerous offerings on them, both mentally and actually transformed, mentally emanated. Just think about <clears throat> the different offerings that we do offer, external offerings of incense, water, and the beautiful offering goddesses offering these. In my mind, I always, um, in the West, you know, we often make offerings that are at events and parties. So we're offering the flowers, incense, food, music. And 
And, you know, we, we are the offering goddesses, making these offerings to all the Buddhas and the Bodhisattvas. And the Buddhas are pleased, they accept these offerings. We open our hearts with generosity. Such a meritorious practice. It's practicing the first, gener first uh, perfection of generosity. And if you're really good with your visualizations, you can imagine this uh, visualization that you've created on every atom and increase it again. And not only are you making this expansive offering but all other mothers that you visualized earlier on they're also making it and relax in that generosity I confess all my negativities accumulated since the beginningless of time. Once again, such an important practice to do, practice of confession and purification. I mean, we are aware of some of the negativities that we create that are we need to remember, you know, we, we are creating negativities. And we're not even aware of it at times with our deluded mind. We are breaking vows regularly and we're not even aware of the negativities that we're creating. And, you know, in, in, in past lives, We've created many negativities that normally means that we reside in the hell realms. But for, for, we've been very fortunate in this, this, this time realm, we've, we've bounced up into the human realm. And it's with the leisures and endowments that we are all enjoying at the moment, I think another way I've been reflecting on them is the respites and opportunities. Respite from the lower realms, respite from the animal realm, from the hell realm, from the naga realm. This is our normal place of residence because of all our negativities. But now we are able to confess them all, own up, truly confess in wanting to do better. Wanting to practice well, with enthusiasm. Wanting to maintain our vows well. Protecting our vows as though they're a precious jewel really being a lot more mindful. That's where a lot of our negativities occur because of our mindlessness.
rejoicing in virtues of ordinary beings and arias. So much to rejoice in. And just, just contemplating uh, and rejoicing in Lama Tsongkhapa and his two main disciples, his two, two best mates, rejoicing in all their merit, rejoicing in Buddha Shakyamuni's merit, rejoicing in each other's merit doing this meditation, rejoicing in all our holy guru's merits. It's rejoicing. Rejoice, rejoice, high fives all round. Rejoicing in our own merit. We ask our holy teachers, our holy gurus, please remain until samsara ends. Please remain until cyclic existence ends. Please remain and teach us. Without our teachers teaching us the holy dharma, we'd be lost. So this heartfelt request Please, please remain until samsara ends. To His Holiness the Dalai Lama, please remain and teach us. Please may that lineage never be broken. May it continue uninterrupted. May His Holiness stay and teach us for another 20, 30 years. He is looking so well. May Geshe Siltram stay here and teach us all the other Geshe's we have here in Australia. We are so fortunate that they all remain here to teach us. Lama Zopa, Kyabja Zopa Rinpoche. Lama Osa, all the other FPMT Geshe's and Rinpoche, Sirkong Rinpoche. May they all remain to teach us and turn the wheel of Dharma. Then we dedicate my own and others' merits to the great enlightenment. final limb of the seven limb prayer. Dedicate the merit generated by myself and others to the great enlightenment, being aware of the, uh, the action of dedicating that I am dedicating the emptiness of that being dependent on me, my conventional me, my conventional activity of dedicating, and then the activity, and then the um, emptiness of the triple gem, that's who we are dedicating to. Without these three conditions, all dependent on each other, so we can really embrace this concept, this understanding, the three spheres, dedicating with the three spheres.
May the supreme jewel of bodhicitta that has not arisen arise and grow, and may that which has arisen not diminish, but increase more and more. May the supreme jewel of the wisdom understanding emptiness that has not arisen arise and grow, and that which has arisen not diminish, but increase more and more. The wish-granting, wish-fulfilling jewel, source of every single benefit and happiness in this world, to the incomparable kind Tenzin Gyatso, I beseech, may all your holy wishes be spontaneously fulfilled. You who uphold the subduer's moral way, who serve as the bountiful bearer of all, sustaining, preserving and spreading Manjana's victorious doctrine, who accomplish magnificent prayers honouring the three jewels, saviour of myself and others, your disciples, please, please, live long. Okay, thank you, and sorry I've gone over again. Sorry, sorry. And uh, hang out soon, or soon Geshe Sultan will be here in 25 minutes, so you've got time to make yourself a cuppa. Um, we like to offer chai on Wednesdays, because apparently that's the, well not apparently, the Wednesday is the day that His Holiness was born on, so Geshe Lo always likes to um, offer chai on Wednesdays. Apparently it's a, it's a Tibetan thing. We have a party on Wednesdays. Okay, thank you. And um, we'll see you in, uh, enjoy your week off, because we now get a week off after this week, and we'll see you next round. Okay, thank you. Okay, can I, uh, archive.org. Yeah, that's right, Ross, archive.org. That's right. Yep, and, and, and you might have to sort of play around with the site to find Lama Sankarpa on there, but he's 